Thing in the world. You just never know until you get them in the boat. Okay, one, two, three. Oh. Oh. Whew. Now this is a tough one. 50 kilos, 100 pounds of pure fish fighting machine. <laughs> There's nothing better, nothing better than getting one of these in. But you can see how difficult it is to catch these things. Uh, <laughs> they're not going to give up. Oh, thank you. Okay. I'm definitely on a roll, and with some time to spare, it's a perfect opportunity to catch something for dinner. Okay, we're in. We're offshore. I don't know what we've caught. Could be a tuna. Well, it doesn't feel distinctively like a tuna, to be honest. Like, usually you can feel tuna have got a very stiff tail, and when they swim, they kind of dum 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 dum. Oh, yeah, black fin tuna. Okay. That is my biggest tuna. Not sure if you can see the colours on this, but they get this iridescent blue, silver, golds, dark blues along here. The most beautiful fish, the most beautiful fish. And then these yellow, yellow fins. And a yellow fin tuna looks very similar to this, but has more pronounced stripes along here and has a longer, much longer yellow fin here and here. So, there you go. Now this is what offshore fishing is about. <laughs> this is my biggest tuna. These are beauties. These are really lovely fish. Well, I couldn't help myself. There's a beautiful beach down here and I thought it'd be a really nice idea to come down here and make a fire, cook up the tuna which we caught today. Well, it doesn't get any better than this. Isolated beach in the middle of nowhere. A week of perfect fishing and we're cooking up the tuna which we caught today. Let's give this a go. You can't beat fresh fish. Just tastes amazing. Great week, cheers. Throughout my experience here, I've been trying to understand what this trip means to me, and I don't think it's just about catching fish. Yes, it embodies an escape from the rat race of everyday life, and it's an adventure into the unknown, but for me it runs deeper than that. It's strange that even though I live in a big city with millions of people, I've had to travel to the outskirts of civilization to find a true sense of community. Witnessing nature firsthand that I dreamt of as a boy has the uncanny ability to put life into perspective. Walk to